And we again look back at that formula, that equation that I see living out in my life. That God is sovereign. He's a good God. He's so good. He's so loving. He's so caring. And if we just surrender to him and trust him, even when it's hard, even when it's like the man who had his son facing something that was impossible in, in Mark chapter 9, and he comes to Jesus, he says, I believe, but help my unbelief. That's surrender. When we surrender to Jesus that way, we see redemption. We see him turn things around for good. And you know, the one realization, actually it's two realizations wrapped into one. Once I realized that I almost died, because everyone told me like, you're so lucky, you should have died, you should be paralyzed, we can't believe you survived that, every medical person. But when it really sunk in on me, like in the ambulance, and getting to the yard, ER, that I almost died, my first near-death experience, I didn't have a feeling like I was spared from something. You know, I would have thought that I would have been like, ooh, dodged a bullet. I had a feeling of thankfulness for being saved. It was this realization like, wow, even if I had died, I was okay, I was going to heaven. Like, it's all good. Like, God's grace is sufficient, it's enough. Like, all I need is God's grace. And I wasn't even, like, singing worship songs when I hit that tree. Like, God's grace is enough. And it wasn't about whether I was gonna live or I was gonna die, it was about that I was his child through Jesus Christ. And it says in Ephesians 2.8, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith in Jesus. This is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. I'm not telling you this story today as some kind of a personal success story. It's all because of Jesus. And even you look at that equation again, if you'll notice that plus mark, have it in red, because it's really like a cross. We think that we're working one side of that equation, but Jesus has really done it all for us. He's paid the price. It says in Galatians 3.13 that Jesus redeemed us from the curse of sin and penalty and death by becoming a curse for us, by going to a cross and dying for us. That is the gift of life that we have through Jesus.